So we have an interesting looking diagram here. Let's say we know a few things about this diagram. Let's say we know, let's say we know that that line MK, so line MK is parallel to line NJ. NJ. So this line is parallel to this line. This is line MK, this is line NJ. Now, given that and all the other information on this diagram, I'm hoping to prove that the measure of angle, this angle right over here, LMK, LMK, is equal to is equal to the measure of this angle right over here. And this angle is L, we could call it angle LNJ, is equal to the measure of angle LNJ. Or another way of writing this, the measure of LMK is B, is B. And the measure of LNK is A. So we want to prove that B is equal to A using all of this information that we know. And like always, I encourage you to try this on your own before I walk through it. All right, so let's walk through it. So the first thing you might see is, okay, look, I have this, I have a triangle formed up here. And actually, let me, let me sketch out. So I have this triangle, triangle MLK. And what do we know about angle, the measure of the angles of the interior angles of a triangle? Well, the measures of the interior angles of a triangle are going to add up to 180 degrees. So we know, we know that B, which is the, ang- the measure of this angle, plus the measure of this angle, plus C, plus C, plus this, the measure of this right angle, so it's going to be plus 90. So let me write it plus 90 plus. 90 degrees is going to be equal to if you these this is this is some of the measures of the interior angles of this triangle well for any triangle that's going to sum up to 180 degrees and so if we subtract 90 degrees from both sides we're going to get we're going to get b plus c b plus c is equal to is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is going to be it's going to be 90 degrees. Or if we wanted to write B in terms of, or if we want to solve explicitly for B, we could subtract C from both sides. And we could write B, B is equal to, is equal to 90 degrees minus C. 90 degrees, 90 degrees minus C. All right, so that's interesting. So that's, that's one way of expressing B. Now, can we express A in a similar way? And once again, at any point you get inspired, I encourage you to do that. Well, if we look carefully, we see that we have a triangle N. Uh, it's hard to read. We have a triangle. Let me see. I'll do it in purple. We have triangle N, N, L, J, this really big triangle. That's really most of the diagram. N, L, J. And what's interesting about N, L, J is that this is another right triangle. I have a right angle here. C is one of the measures of one of the interior angles. And then A is a measure of the other interior angle. So we can write something very similar. We can write, we can write A, so that measure, plus C, plus C, plus 90 degrees, plus 90 degrees is going to be equal to is going to be equal to 180 degrees. And actually, the last time around, I wonder, I should write the C in that purple color. It's very close to the magenta color, but the C is in that purple color. All right. So what can we do here? Well, we can do the exact same process to solve for A. If we subtract 90 from both sides and we subtract C from both sides, what do we get? We get A. A is equal to So once again, if you subtract 90 from both sides, you're going to get 90 on the right-hand side, 90 degrees. And if you subtract C from both sides, you're going to get 90 degrees minus C. Now this is interesting. B is equal to 90 degrees minus C. And A is equal to 90 degrees minus C. So 90 degrees minus C is equal to A. It's also equal to B. Or we can now say that A, we can now say that A must be equal to B, that the measure of angle LMK, which is B, is equal to the measure of angle LNJ, which is equal to A.